Hi. I'm very excited to talk to you today about our new to-go product. So our to-go product is, is a solution that allows us to create applications that run outside the browser, that run, run on a wide variety of devices, and is built around Salesforce.com, but allows you to do exciting things with custom user interfaces and also work on tablet PCs to do things such as signature capture that you normally can't do with Salesforce. So this is useful in a wide variety of um, use cases. What I'm going to show you today is focused on the pharmaceutical industry, but we've also built solutions for retail, for merchandising, and for offline order entry, and also around field support. So what you're going to see today is not, it doesn't look like normal Salesforce.com, but allows you to capture all the data in a very customized manner and then synchronize it, load it into Salesforce, and you can take advantage of all the normal Salesforce.com reporting, workflow, Apex, et cetera. So let's go ahead and show you a quick example of what this technology looks like. So the first thing I want to want to illustrate here is this doesn't look like like Salesforce, but what this is is this is something running on my on my computer. In, in my case, I'm using a tablet PC, and this is built around the pharmaceutical sales industry. So when I have an internet connection, I can click sync, put in my username and password, and click login. And what that's going to do is bring down data locally to my um, to my tablet from Salesforce. So I can do this when I'm in the office, you know, when I'm at a Starbucks, or if I'm in the car and I have a Verizon card. The reason we built this around an offline um, scenario is because there's a lot of times, even with Verizon cards, that you don't have internet access. So now that I've got all my data um, stored locally on my computer, let's say I'm in front of a doctor and I'm about to walk in the door. So what I want to do is, is search for somebody so I can either pick somebody from a list or click a search and bring up a doctor. So I'm a pharmaceutical sales rep. I want to you know, bring up a doctor. I can see the clinics that he or she is affiliated with. I, I can see they're affiliated with two different clinics. I can also look at prescriber data. So what's interesting here is before I walk in the door, I can see some trending about you know, the types of products they're using. So if this is a retail scenario, this could be order data. If it's field service, it could be cases. And I can kind of drill into the data. So, so what's nice about this is since I'm bringing this data locally, it allows me to have some good analytics before I walk in the door about that specific client. So let's say I'm in front of the, the doctor now, and I want to go ahead and record the fact of what I'm doing with that doctor and also record some samples. So I'm going to click New Visit. And then what I bring up here is a list of all the different samples that I have available to give the, to that physician. So what I can do is go over here and click Edit. So say I want to leave some samples of amaldipine. I'm going to leave 60 samples of that. And also some Cardua. So I want to leave um, 20 samples of that. So once I'm done with entering that, what I can do is actually do a signature capture. And um, I'm not running this on a tablet PC, so I can't do a full signature. But what you can see is that I can go ahead and assign the screen and save that signature. It probably looks a little bit like a true doctor's signature. So once that's signed, I can click View Signature and see what that signature looks like. So that way I can't change the signature once it's captured, which allows me to confirm that that doctor actually took receipt of those samples. I can also do call reporting. So I can say, was this a weekly visit? Was it a lunch and learn? You know, pick a couple products. And what did I talk about? Basic drug benefits. And one thing that's really exciting about this screen is I can also mark off other physicians that were there when I talked to this doctor. So what this does when it syncs back to Salesforce is create an activity record linked to that contact um, that they also were a part of that meeting. So what I can do is associate a meeting with multiple contacts on one screen, which is something that, that if you're a user of Salesforce, you know is, is a great win. I can put in brochure requests if people um, you want to get some brochures you know, sent to them about a specific product that I talked about. I can record expenses. So I can see you know, who did I talk to, you know, what kind of expense was it, and go ahead and record those expenses and also see visibility into prior expenses you know, for that physician for that year. So what I can do here is have some business logic that really shows what I've spent so far this year. And there are governmental limits in this case in terms of what I can spend per doctor per year. So I can kind of capture that and validate that and share that with that sales rep in the front end you know, as they're entering their expenses. And I can also enter an ad adverse reaction report. So if I heard somebody had an issue with one of my products, say, back on May 1st, I can click a date, you know, pick what product it was, say it was azithromycin, and click Save Reaction. And what that's going to do when I synchronize is go ahead and open a case and open a task for somebody to follow up on that adverse reaction and find out more information about it. So now that I've entered all my information, I'm going to go ahead and click Save Visit. And if I go up here to View Previous, this will show me what's essentially in my inbox. So I can see I've got a visit here created today that, that's red, which means it hasn't been synchronized. And I also have one visit that I, that I did previously that was synchronized. You can see it's green. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click Sync, put in my username and password again, and click Login. So what that's going to do is go ahead and take that visit I just created, upload it to Salesforce, enter a custom call report, you know, create a case for that adverse reaction, and actually update multiple objects. But I, all I had to interact with here on the client is just is a very, very simple screen flow. 
So now that I've went ahead and synchronized that, those changes back to Salesforce, if I click View Previous, I can see that that's now been synchronized. And if I logged into Salesforce, I can see that visit. So hopefully what I showed you today really gives you an example of what can be done with an offline solution utilizing our to-go framework. What's nice about this is it's very customizable. You can use it for a wide variety of use cases and is available to rapidly create offline applications like this, whether it's for the pharmaceutical industry, financial industry, or more of a retail kind of merchandising or entry in industry as well. So if you have any questions, we look forward to talking to you about the solution and seeing how it could help you specifically.